Uh, we've decided to come outside and try and experiment out here while the weather's nice and dry. What we've got inside that huge beaker is water and we've put in an indicator called phenolphthalein. So at neutral, that's colourless. But once we put this other chemical in there, sodium hydride, the sodium hydride will react with the water and it should be a very vigorous reaction. Um, it produces sodium hydroxide, which is a base, and that will therefore turn the solution uh, pink. Sodium hydride is really quite an interesting compound. I often say that, but I think sodium hydride is particularly interesting because it contains the hydride ion, which is H minus. Let me explain. Here, I have a rather crude model. This is a sodium atom and this is a hydrogen atom. And in the sodium atom, there is one electron which is in the outer shell. And in sodium hydride, in the solid, one of these electrons is transferred from the sodium to the hydrogen. So you have sodium plus where the outer electron has been removed. And over here, you have H minus, that's a hydrogen atom, with an extra electron. These ions are in the solid. And when you dissolve them in water, what happens is they dissolve, so you get Na plus and H minus in solution. But the hydrogen does not hold on to its electron very strongly, and the electron is easily removed by reaction with water. As they drop the sodium hydride into the water, first of all, it hits the surface, then it begins to dissolve. And as it begins to dissolve, it forms Na plus, H minus, and the H minus can then react with water. Water, as you know, is H2O. If you take H minus plus H2O, it goes to H2, hydrogen gas, and OH minus, which is the hydroxide ion, which is what makes things alkaline. So we then have OH minus in the solution. The OH minus can then interact with the phenolphthalein, which goes from colourless to red or pink, depending on the concentration. So overall, what happens when you drop it in, there is a great bubbling as the hydrogen gas comes out and it goes red. Sometimes, and it depends on the particular reaction conditions, the hydrogen can catch fire and you can get big flames. It looks good, but good chemists shouldn't get big flames. Oy! 